Hello, my name is Mr. Ishengoma, and today we are going to look at uh, recurring decimals. Our most important aim is to change the recurring decimals to fractions. We are going to do four examples listed down as we see each step on how we change them to fraction. Let's start with example A. 0 0.2 recurring. So when you look at 0 0.2 recurring, only a number 2 is going to be recurring, meaning only one number is recurring. Therefore, first we shall let a letter to be equal to our recurring decimal. And because it is only one number which is recurring, we shall multiply by 10 on both sides. Here we shall get 10x. Here, remember, this point will come this side, making it 2. But we have to bring down the recurring decimal. Why? Because we are going to subtract, so we shall need to have a balanced in decimal numbers. And here we shall subtract with x. So our next step here is after multiplying by 10, we shall always subtract with the starting statement. So 10x minus x, we get 9x. 2 recurring, 2 recurring, we get 0. And 2 minus 0 is 2. So we shall divide both sides by 9. Hence, our x will be 2 over 9. At the beginning, we said let x represent 0 0.2. And now we have got x is equal to 2 over 9. This means our recurring has become a fraction of 2 over 9. Let's look at our second example, b. Our b is... 0, 3, 2 recurring. So let's let x equal to 0 0.32. But remember, only one number is recurring. Therefore, we shall have to multiply by 10 on both sides. We get 10x. Because I'm multiplying by 10, this point will shift. It will come there. And we shall get 3.2. Bring back the recurring number so that we have two decimal places. Hence, we shall subtract our starting statement and we get 9x. Even this side, we shall subtract our starting statement and we shall get here 0. Here, borrow 1, become 12. 12 minus 3, you get 9. And this side, 2 minus 0 is 2. Hence, we shall divide both sides by 9. And our x will be 2.9 over 9. We cannot leave 2.9 over 9. Because we have decimal and we have fraction. So we shall multiply by 10 to remove the decimal. And we shall get 29 over 90. Therefore, our recurring decimal has become 29 over 90. Let's look at our third example. C. When you look at C, the recurring decimal says 0 0.59. C. 0 0.57 sorry now if you look properly two numbers are recurring now so when we let x equal to 0 0.57 and we see 5 and 7 both of them are recurring now because two numbers are recurring we shall multiply by 100 and hence we get 100x 
and also the other side we shall multiply by 100 1 2 and we get 57 point bring back the recurring numbers we shall subtract with our starting statement and we get 99x and even this side we shall subtract with our starting statement and this is 0 this is 0 and we'll get 57 shall divide both sides by 99 hence our x will be 57 over 99 next we have part d part d is 0 0.127 again also part d two numbers are recurring meaning we have to multiply by a hundred so first we shall let x be equal to 0 0.127 and we can see two numbers are recurring meaning we shall multiply by 100 so times 100 we get 100x times 100 it means one step two steps we shall get 12.7 bring back the two recurring numbers that is 2 and 7 then we shall subtract with our starting statement we get 99 we shall subtract with our starting statement that is 0 0.127 this will be 0 2 and 2 will be 0 and 7 minus 1 6 12 minus 0 is 12 after that we shall divide both sides by 99 Hence, we shall have our x as 12.6 over 99. But because of a decimal, we must multiply by 10 on both sides, up and down, to remove the decimal. So we shall have 126 over 990. But when you look at the question closely, you will see that we can still simplify by 2, 6, 3, by 2, 9 by 2, we get 4, 4 gives us 8, 8 takes to 19, by 18, <coughs> uh, by 2, 18 is 9, remainder 1, that's 10, gives us uh, 5. Now, we have x is equal to 63 over 4, 9, 5. When you look at it again, we shall see we have got uh, division of 3. By 3, we get 2, 1. By 3, we get 1. 19, 18 is 6. 1, 15 is 5. And finally, our x now will be 21 over 165. This is after simplifying completely. Remember, just after multiplying by 10 up and down, we get our answer. But we are always advised to make your answer in the simplest form. That's why we go ahead to simplify until the end. These were four examples to demonstrate to us how we change recurring decimal into fraction. Thank you for watching. My name is Mr. Ishengoma.